Jesus Alio nishika Kule nyumbani Oshim jioni ya leo Fire Mine taka ta Bora angalia huko Tuamata 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 Na wafungulia anga Kuna watu wafungulia anga Kuna watu mapepe ya mekushika Mapepe ya kulala na wewe usiku Mapepe ya kukutesa na magonjwa Na ya kamata kwa moto 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 Aza vita Pigana wao Pigana wao Nasio mimi pigana wao Pigana wao Pigana wao Pigana wao Pigana wao Pigana wao Piga Piga Kabisa Piga kabisa What is Thank you Lord Thank you Jesus You are totally delivered Thank you Jesus hata wewe pesa yako ikusaidie katika china la Yesu. Vitu vyako na unasema kwamba nataka kwenda kupatia hii kitu mtumishi wa Bwana. Naye anena baraka juu ya maisha yake yangu unamaanisha kwamba I want to maintain the blessing upon my life. Na unapokuwa katika hiyo hali pia wale wanatupata katika Facebook kindly unaweza ukashare tu na ukapata uh, kuweza kumufikia mtu mwingine kupitia Facebook yako na Bwana akubariki kwa sababu ya kushare wale unaendelea kufanya hivyo na kuombea tu may you get your own share even as you are sharing in the name of Jesus Christ hakuna kitu chochote ambacho Mungu hawezi kukifanya Luka mlango wa kwanza mstari wa 37 kwa kuwa kwa Mungu hakuna jambo lisilowezekana inawezekana katika maisha yako kuna kitu ambacho kabisa unapojiangalia unaona kimeharibika beyond repair but one thing i want you to be assured is in god's presence there is restoration kuna urejesho katika nyumba ya bwana hii ni sehemu ya urejesho kuna watu ambao kabisa maisha yako shetani ametamba nayo shetani amenguiza maisha yako mahali pabaya lakini kama vile utapata neno la leo maisha yako ya tarudi katika jina la Yesu Kristo praise the lord praise the lord so tukaona kwenye kitabu cha Jeremiah 30 Mungu anasema ya kwamba nitawarejeshea hebu tuangalie anadorejeshea nini maana Mungu aweza kurejesha vitu vyote maana jua kuna mtu ako pale ananisikiliza na anasema ya kwamba pasta ujui bila nimengojeka pasta ujui bila mzee wangu amenichukia pasta ujui bila mke wangu amenichukia pasta ujui bila mambo hayaendi vizuri nataka nikutangazie kutakuwa na urejesho katika kila sehemu ya maisha yako aha Jeremiah 30:17 inasema maana nitakurudishia afya nami nitakuponya jeraha zako asema bwana anasema atakurudishia afya na atakuponya jeraha zako asema bwana kwa sababu wamekuita mwenye ku, mwenye kutupwa maana wamekuita mwenye kutupwa wakisema wakisema ni sayuni ambaye hapana mtu autakaye sasa unapoangalia hapo Mungu anasema kwamba hata kama wamesema hakuna mtu akutaki god is able to restore favor God is able to restore your health. God is able to heal your wounds. Kuna watu maisha imewa, imaweka vidonda. Kuna watu maisha imaweka vidonda kwa sababu ya ma lockdown, wakapoteza kazi. Kwa sababu ya ma lockdown, doa zao zina un in the balance. Kwa sababu ya lockdown, hata mapepo yakapata nafasi kwa sababu watu wapate nafasi ya kujumuika katika ibada. Nasema ya kwamba katika maisha lazima ujue ya kwamba wakati wote kitu kama hiki kimefanyika watu wakajipata hawana nafasi ya kwenda katika nyumba ya Mungu the devil takes advantage praise the lord maana nyumba za waganga zijafungwa bali sio nataka niamini Mungu kwa wale watu ambao wamekuwa ukipata nafasi ya kuingia kwa nyumba ya Bwana maana makanisa yamesemekana limited numbers labda ulikuja na ukarudishiwa kwa mlango saa hii usiendelee hivyo hivyo maana saa hii umepewa nafasi ya kufika katika nyumba ya Bwana ili upate kujumuika na wakristo wenzako praise the lord praise the lord maana 
unajua Biblia nasema kwamba present your body as a living sacrifice holy and acceptable unto God you may be able to test the perfect will of God and do not be conformed to this world but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may test the perfect will of God praise the Lord that is Romans 12 verses 1 to 2 Paula naongea na na wandugu na anawaambia msibadilishwe ni yazenu mkae kama watu wa ulimwengu lakini fanyweni upya akili zenu ili mpate kujua mapenzi ya Mungu uh-huh. Warumi 12 moja hadi mbili basi ndugu zangu na wasihi kwa huruma zake Mungu itoeni miili yenyu iwe dhabihu iliyo hai ni mili yenu si simu yako unajua wakati tuko wakati wa lockdown wakati mwingine napatanga kwamba the only means ya kukufikia ni kupitia TV kupitia radio lakini sasa toa mwili wako sema amen eh hey, sema amen toa mwili wake fika katika nyumba ya Bwana ah takatifu iwe takatifu ya kumpendeza Mungu ya kumpendeza Mungu ndio ibada yenu yenye maana ndio ibada yenu yenye maana wala mustapatisha namna ya dunia hii Aha. bali mkeuzwe kwa kufanywa upya ni ya zenu mpate kujua hakika mapenzi ya Mungu yaliyo mema ya kumpendeza na ukamilifu so lazima ujue kwamba as you present your body in the house of God You, there is the place where you are taught the word of God unafundishwa neno la Mungu praise the lord na katika kule kufundishwa then akili yako inaanza kubadilishwa na wakati akili yako inabadilishwa inaoshwa kwa kutakaswa kwa neno la Mungu let me tell you neno la Bwana utakasa mawazo ya watu praise the lord neno la Bwana utakasa mioyo ya watu huisafisha The word of God is a spiritual sanitizer. It can be able to kill every germ, every bacteria, the spiritual germ, the, the, the spiritual bacteria ambao zinafanya ukue na doubt ya neno la Mungu. Bwana asubuhi sana. Kwenye kitabu cha Waefeso mlango wa 5, mstari wa 26, inasema by cleansing them and washing by the word of god kuna kuoshwa neno la bwana linakuosha aha wa efeso 5:26 ili makusuti alitakase na kulisafisha kwa maji katika neno ili kusudi aitakase na kuisafisha kwa maji kwa neno so neno la bwana kama vile unaingia kwa 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 mbafu na kuoga na kutoa ile takataka uchafu ambao umekupata na jasho lile limekupata na unakuwa msafi na unanukia vizuri na unapendeza hivyo hivyo wakati unaingia katika nyumba ya Bwana na kupata neno la Bwana unatakasika unaondolewa mawazo machafu unapandwa mawazo mazuri praise the lord praise the lord unapandwa imani in stand of fear faith is planted in your heart praise the lord in stand of doubt unawako unawekwa assurance by the word of god bwana asubuhi sana so wakati ambapo hauna nafasi ya kuingia katika madhabao utakuwa mtu wa marumas utakuwa mtu wa doubt you'll be fearful na mungu atatusaidia katika jina la yesu So katika ibada hiyo tukaona kwamba nothing is too lost to be found where God is involved. Kwa kitabu cha 1 Samuel chapter 30 verses 8 18 to 19 wewe andika tu ukiandika itakusaidia sana. Wanaambia watu ya kwamba kanisa si sinema. Wakati unaandika inakusaidia maana this is an information ambao itakusaidia kwa wakati au utakuwa kanisani unaporudi tu nyumbani utaweza kusoma na ukaona neno la Mungu tena uwezi kutofautisha mtu ambao anaongea mambo yake na mtu ambao anaongea neno la Mungu kama wewe hauandiki na uwezi kurudi ukapitia tena na tena na tena Aha. 
mweli wa kwanza mlango 30 mstari wa 8 na mstari wa 18 na 9 Biblia inasema hivi Daudi akauliza kwa Bwana akasema je nitawafatia jeshi hili nitawapata naye akamjibu fuata kwa kuwa hakika utawapata nawe ukosi utawapokonya wote 18 nasema hivi uh -huh. Daudi akawapokonya wote waliokuwa wamechukuliwa na wamaleki naye Daudi akawaokoa wakezi wawili wala hawakupotewa na kitu mdogo wala mkubwa wana wala bindi nyara wala chochote walicho kitualia hao Daudi akavirudisha vyote Biblia inasema kwamba Daudi akavirudisha vyote Daudi akavirudisha vyote and that is the beauty of the presence of God wakati ambapo unatembea katika maisha haya Wakati Mungu anatembea nawe hata kama kuna kitu kilipotea na kikaonekana likana kwamba uweze recover as long as God is on your side you shall begin to recover I prophesy over your life from today you shall begin to recover in the name of Jesus Sema kwa jina la Yesu Kristo Chochote nilichopoteza nitaanza kukipata katika jina la Yesu Bwana asiwe sana. So tukaona namba 2, tukaona nobody is too down for God to pick them up. Kwenye kitabu cha Judges 16 verse 22. Ni maisha ya Samson. Wakati Samson alishikwa mateka. Jesus mimi. Wakangoa macho yake. Baada ya kungoa macho yake, Biblia inasema kwamba wakampeleka kwenye hekalu la ndaoni ili akapata kuwachezea na kuwatumbuiza lakini wakati walipokuwa wakiendelea kutumbuizwa pipi nasema ya kwamba Samson akaomba na akasema ewe bwana ili upate kunirejeshea nywele zangu tena aha wa kitabu cha waamusi 16 mstari wa 22 kuendelea hapo mstari wa kuanzia mstari wa 22 aha lakini zile nywele za kichwa chake zikaanza kukua tena baada ya kunyolewa kwake. Lakini zile nywele za kichwa chake zikaanza kumea baada ya kunyolewa kwa kichwa chake. Kisha wakuu wa Filisti wakakusanyika ili kumtolea sadaka dagoni Mungu wao Aha. na kufurahi. Maana walisema Mungu wetu amemtia Samsoni adui wetu mikononi mwetu. Na hao watu walipomuona wakamuhimidi Mungu wao. Kwanza tusimamie tu hapo tuone ya kwamba Samson hakushikwa tu ile upumbavu tunasomanga ya Samson. Haikuwa upumbavu ya kawaida. Ilikuwa ni upumbavu ya mapepo. Maana Mungu wao wanasherekea Mungu wao na kumtolea dhabihu na sadaka zao kwa maana amewakamatia Samson. Praise the Lord nataka tuamini Mungu maana najua kuna watu wamenyang'anywa vitu vyao. Kuna watu wamenyang'anywa vitu vyao kwa njia ya uganda. Kuna watu mnabigana wao, mnabishana wao kwa sababu ya jambo fulani. Inawezekana ni mahali pa kazi. Inawezekana katika biashara. Hata katika ndoa, wanaume wamekaliwa chapati. Si wanawake wanakaliangwa nini? Praise the Lord mtu nakaliwa chapati kabisa hawezi kuona watoto wake wao napata mmoja jamaa ambao umesomesha yani umechukua ume na yeye ukiwa msichana mdogo mko hapo hamuna kitu mkavumiliana mkapambana mkiwa pamoja umemzalia watoto ameenda amekaliwa chapati ameona kamusiana kingine huko baada ya kukaona kale kamusiana kumbe kama mshikia madawa kama mkalia chapati alipokula hiyo chapati hiyo ni kukula na kulanga ama inakuwa nini so alipokula ile chapati kutoka siku hiyo he doesn't care anything to do with his life how to do, to do with his marriage sasa ameshikwa mateka na kwa sababu ya ile chapati amekula hawezi akakumbuka mke wake hawezi akakumbuka watoto wake Yaani unaona mtu ameenda 
hivi amenyonyeshwa matiti yenye itoki kitu amesahau watoto wake amesahau mke wake mke wake anajaribu kumuuliza e, fulani unakumbuka mahali tulitoka anamwambia huko ni zamani siwezi kumbuka hata usinikumbushe mimi usinikumbushe unamuuliza na watoto waende wapi peleka kule unajua wajaribu kumwambia nyumba ijalipo anakuambia wewe jua vile utafanya yaani jamaa huyu ameshikwa mateka kwa ile chapati nasema siku ya leo niko na habari jema that the god who restores the sanity of our husbands is going to touch your husband sema amen anaweza akarejesha akili inawezekana ni mke pia amekaliwa kila wanakali yangwa na mpaka siku ya leo ataje kukuona nataka niombe Mungu katika jina la Yesu Mungu arejeshae arejeshe akili yake Praise the Lord Praise the Lord Mtu ameshikwa madeka nasema ya kwamba hakuna mtu aliyewekwa chini kiwango cha kuwa Mungu hawezi mshika tena na kumweka juu Praise the Lord Sema nitasimama tena Unajua Biblia inasema Mika saba msari wa nane inasema usifurahi juu yangu ewe adui yangu maana ni yangu kapo nitasimama tena na niketipa ngizani Bwana atakuwa nuru yangu sasa so, kuna wale watu ambao wanafurahi maana umeanguka chini na uko chini but our god the lifter of men will lift your life again in the name of Jesus sema nitatokea tena ila unaongea uwezi kutokea sema nitatokea tena katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Unajua kuna nguvu katika ulimi wako. Kila unasema kinafanya kazi. Praise the Lord. Wale watu tuko hapa wote tumeoa, tulioa na maneno. Sa ingine hata huko ana kitu, ukajieleza ukamwambia nitakutunza, nitakununulia nguo. Na wewe umelarukiwa. Kuna mtu anakuangalia na jina huyu anani, lakini maneno haya uliongea, ulikumbalika. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So maneno yako yako na nguvu. So always penda kusema neno la Mungu. Penda kutangaza neno la Bwana katika maisha yako. So nataka tuangalie leo. Bado nimefanya utangulizi kidogo. Nikasema kwamba the presence of God is one of the forces of restoration. Kama maisha yako yatarekebika, the presence of God is key. When God goes with you Mungu anapotembea nawe mambo yako yatakuwa mazuri Praise the Lord Na ujue ya kwamba safari ya kupata kutembea na Mungu inaanzanga na wokovu Wakati Mungu mtu anapookoka na kusema kutoka leo nimekataa kuishi katika dhambi na kuamua kuishi maisha yaliyotakasika ukasema ya kwamba from today I will live a holy life. Maana Mungu ni mtakatifu. Na ukitaka kutembea na Mungu, lazima utembee katika utakatifu. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So the presence of God. Kwenye kitabu cha John chapter 6 verse 16 to 21. Ninaurumia ule mtu anaandiki kwa sababu anafikiri alikuwa kwa service ya kwanza. This is totally very different. Revelation inakuanga ina ina Revelation ya kuanga ni progressive. John chapter 6 verse 16 to 21. Tutaona wakati mitume wa Yesu Kristo wanatembea na Yesu wakienda kuvuka ngambo ile ingine. Biblia inasema kwamba wakasema Yesu akasema na tuvuka ngambo ile ingine na walipokuwa katikati ya bahari. Kwa ile mashua Biblia inasema kwamba kukatokea dhuluma na maji yakatishia kuingia kwenye ile uh, ile uh, ile ile mashua John 16 John chapter 16 verse 16 to 21 Yohana 16 mstari wa 16 mpaka 21 Biblia inasema hivi John 16 <coughs> Biblia inasema hivi Yohana 16 mstari wa 16 mpaka 21 Bado kitambo kidogo nanyi amonioni 
Uh, sorry. Uh, sorry, six, not 16. Yeah. Sorry, six, not 16. Sorry, sorry. Ah, uh, Yohana kumi, Yohana sita. Mlango wa sita, msari wa kumi na sita. Adi shiri na moja, sorry. Mm -hmm. Sawa. So, Bibi dena sema hivi, hata itaka po kuwa, hata ilipo kuwa jioni, wanafunzi wake wakatelemuka baharini, wakapanda chomboni, wakaanza kuivuka bahari, kuenda kaparnaumu, nako kumekuisha kuwa gisa, wala yesu haja wafikia, na bahari ikaanza kuchafuka, kwa kuvuma upepo mkuu, basi wakafuta makasia, Kadiri ya maili, in, maili tatu ine Wakamuana Yesu Anakuenda juu ya bahari Na kukikaribi, kukikaribia chombo Wakaogopa Nae akawambia Ni mimi musiogope Basi wakataka kumpokea chomboni Na mara hiyo chombo Kikafikilia inji Walio kuwa wakienda <laughs> So naona bibila nasema ya kwamba Wakati walipo kuwa, wameingia katikati katika bahari. Bila sama kwamba bahari kachafuka, mawimbe ya kainuka kabisa, karibu kile chombo kuzama. Lakini bila sama kwamba, wakati walipo kuwa kiogopa, wakamuona Yesu anatembea. Lakini bila sama kwamba, walipo muona wakaogopa. Na bila sama kwamba, wakati alipo kuja, Verse 19. So when they end uh, road about five and, tw uh, and twenty or thirty furlongs, they see Jesus walking on the sea and drawing near unto the ship, and they were afraid. But he said, said unto them, "Is it is I? Be not afraid." Then they willingly received him into the ship, and immediately the ship was at the land. Wither they went. Bazi wakafuta makasia kadiri ya maili tatu ine. Wakamuona yesu anakuenda juu ya bahari na kukikaribia chombo wakaogopa. Nae akawambia ni mimi musiogope. Bazi wakataka kumpokea chomboni na mara hiyo chombo kikafikilia inji walio kuwa wakiiendea. Pile sema kwamba wakampokea wakapenda wakampokelea they willingly received him praise the lord so the presence of god is key to restoration of your life but you must be willing to receive him into your life and he becomes your lord savior and your master some amen praise the lord Maana mungu awezi kuongoza mtu kichwa ngumu Wanajua kitaya kujua mungu wata kuongoza Ama mungu wata kuzungumuzia Ni kuangalia jinzi unabyo mpokea Neno la buwana Are you a good receiver And a doer of the word of God Because tuko na watu wengi sana ambao Ni wasikilizaji wa neno la mungu But they do nothing about what they hear so kama mungu wamekupatia instruction ya kwanza Na ukakataa kufanya hiyo ya kwanza Probability iko juu sana ya kutoongea na we mara ya pili Praise the Lord Praise the Lord When you have a resistance Kuna watu wame grow resistance ya neno la mungu Bila sema kwamba the disciples They willingly received him Sema amen they, they, then the Bible says in verse 21 Then they willingly received him into the ship And immediately the ship was at the land Whither they went So what things ni mabogani ambayo Yalipanyika Walipo pokea Christo Walipo kumbali the presence of Jesus To go with them Number one When Jesus appeared Three things appeared Number one Or three things happened Number one they overcame the storm. They overcame the storm. There are a lot of storms of life. No, me by the moja limba kasema. When the storms of life are raging, praise the Lord. There are sometimes. Yani kuna wakati maisha. 
yale kuletenda dhuluma yale sababishanda upate kufika wakati mwingine ukaona ni kana kwamba Mungu hayuko karibu na wewe dhuluma za maisha kumbuka hawa si wapagani hawa ni, ni, ni wanafunzi wa Yesu Kristo wamejipata na kama wanafunzi wa Yesu walijipata wewe pia utajipata katika dhuluma praise the lord Anajua na watu saa hii unanisikiliza, unanitazama kwa mtandao. Na la, la, labda saa hii kuna dhuluma kwa sababu ya kupoteza kazi. Let Jesus come into your situation. Praise the Lord. Instead of worrying, call upon Jesus. Badala ya kulia na kulalamika na kuangalia watu, mtazame Mungu atakusaidia. Amen. Hapo sijaizikia. So wakati walikumbali wali, wali Kristo hakakuja katika mashua yao number one, they overcame the storm number two, they achieved supernatural speed maana maandiko inasema walikuwa katikati ya bahari but immediately they willingly received him the ship was at the land sema amen sema amen Yaani wanamupokea wakiwa katikati ya mashua and immediately ile mashua ikafika mahali ilikuwa inaenda na kuombea na nakutabiria mchana wa leo ya kwamba utaachieve your, your supernatural speed na kile kilikuwa kingumu sana na umechukua miaka mingi kukitimiza bwana atakupatia uwezo wa kukitimiza kabla ya mwisho wa mwezi huu hey. Nasema kuna watu watapokea neema ya kutimiza mambo fulani ambayo imewachukua muda mrefu katika mwezi huu kabla ya siku 30 kuisha God will have given you supernatural speed you shall achieve what you could not achieve before Sema amen Sema I will achieve what I could not achieve for years Praise the Lord So kuna watu Mungu atakupatia nguvu ya kufanya mambo supernaturally. Kwa nguvu ambayo si ya kawaida. Sema amen. Na kuombea Mungu akupatie neema hiyo katika jina la Yesu. Praise the Lord. So they achieved supernatural speed number three. They arrived in their destination. Wakafika kule walikokwenda salama. Hawakufia kwa bahari mali ambapo angemezwa na samaki mali ambapo angekufa maji hawako kufa maji kwa sababu the presence of God Jesus and appeared in their situation I pray for you today may Jesus appear in your situation I pray for you today may Jesus appear in your situation Sema Jesus appear in my situation in the name of Jesus So the presence of the Lord the, the Lord is uh, is uh, uh, in the ship changed everything. Yaani kule wapo wa Yesu Kristo katika ile mashua ulimbadilisha kila kitu. Kuna watu mambo yako yanabadilika. Nasema kuna watu mambo yako inabadilika. Na kama wewe ni huyo mtu nipatie amen. Sema mambo yangu yatabadilika. Kwa jina la Yesu Kristo kila mtu yeyote ambao ananisikia saa hii kuna mtu mambo yako yanabadilika praise the lord sema mambo yangu yatabadilika kwa jina la Yesu Kristo na nimesema ya kwamba kama Mungu lazima atembee na wewe lazima mkumbaliane Amos chapter 3 verse 3 inauliza je wawili waweza tembea pamoja bila kuelewana Can two walk together unless they agree? Lazima ukumbali kutembea na Mungu naye atatembea na wewe. Na ukitembea na Mungu Mungu ni mtakatifu. Na kwa sababu ni mtakatifu lazima uachieve the holiness that is in in the word of God. Huh? Amos 3 mstari wa 3. Je, watu wawili waweza kutembea pamoja wasipokuwa wamepatana wasipokuwa wamepatana so hauwezi ukatembea na Mungu bila kupatana na yeye na nimesema kupatana kwako na Mungu kuna azanga na wokovu 
Bwana asifiwe. Na siongei kuhusu wokovu wa dini kwa sababu kuna wokovu wa dini. Dini inasamanga lazima tufanye kitu fulani na tukifanya hivyo sisi um, sisi tutakuwa tumeokoka. Hapana kuna standard ya Biblia. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe sana. Sema Bwana nisaidie. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. So the presence of God is very key. Hauwezi ukatembea na Mungu bila kukumbaliana na yeye. Na utakumbaliana yeye kwa sababu gani? Because you receive the word of God, you are the doer of the word of God and you are delivered lately. Yaani wewe mwenyewe umeamua katika moyo wako ukasema I must see God in my life. I must walk with God in my life. Praise the Lord. Let me tell you kuna watu wataki kutembea na Mungu lakini wamejaanja kwa manyumba za maombi. Ameombewa hapa, ameombewa pale, ameombewa kule. Kuna kitu na mimi naambia kwa watu ya kwamba kama wewe unaombewa hapa, huombewa mahali pengine, huombewa mahali pengine. Na bado muujiza wako aupati. Something is wrong with you. Si madhabo ile unaombewa. Mimi mimi najua na mimi najielewa. Mungu ameweka ndani yangu na upako ule Mungu ameweka ndani yangu ya kwamba mimi nimepewa neema ya uponyaji na neema ya ukombozi. Hauwezi ukawa hapa unateswa na mapepo. Praise the Lord. Nije ni kuombe na ni kuombe tena. Ni kuombe miezi tatu na vile vile ulivyokuwa ni vile ulivyo. There is something wrong. Praise the Lord. Kwa nini watu wengine wana Paulu na wewe uwezi kufanikiwa? Why is it somebody else? Kunajua nimesema kwa sababu ya ngumu wa moyo. Na kuna watu wanahitaji ili wapate their total deliverance. Kuna watu wanahitaji wakumbali kabisa moyo wa mawe, moyo wa kusikia neno la Mungu na kutofanya kile Mungu amesema uondolewe na Mungu akupatie roho ya kupokea neno la Mungu na kulifanya. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Kwa maana kuna watu mioyo yao wamesikia every kind of the gospel but they don't change simply because they are not willing. Let me tell you. Mungu anaweza akakufanyia upasuaji, akatoa moyo wa zamani, akaweka moyo mpya. Jeremia anaambiwa na Mungu, "Nami nitatoa moyo wa, wa mawe, niweke moyo wa nyama." na kutoka siku hiyo niatembea na wao sema amen sema amen kama uwepo wa Mungu utatembea nawe lazima ukumbali moyo wa zamani moyo wa kusoea neno la Mungu utoke usipotoka my friend utakuwa utakuwa kama mawe kuna mawe wengine na wanaanga huko kwetu ah leki masinga Ye, ile mawe inakuwa kama mawe wengine kwanga ya white uki ukitoa hiyo mawe kwa maji unaitoa ukichukua ingine tu kama hiyo ungonganishe unaona inawaka moto yani hiyo ni ni, 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 ni ni mawe ambayo iko very iko resistant to water maji ipenyi ni mawe ngumu sana na kuna zingine unapatanga tu hapo hata ukishika ime, imeanza kuwa mchanga tu ukishika ina, inatoka tu inatokana tu inatoka, inakuwa mchanga praise the lord kuna watu wamezama kwa kanisa for over five good years no change because there is no change in their heart praise the lord mambadiliko ya kweli yanaanzanga na ndani si kuombewa maana unaweza hata ukiombewa kama moyo wako hauko tayari kumbadilisha na kuconform to the word of god i tell you the truth utaombewa everywhere and things will not change. Mungu anataka mtu ako flexible. Sema amen. Praise the Lord. Sema Bwana nisaidie. Sema Bwana nisaidie. So Mungu atembeangi na watu wenye mioyo mingumu. Mungu atembeangi umeiona? Mungu atembeangi na watu wenye moyo mungumu. Anatembeangi na watu wenye wako flexible. People who are willing assimilate the word of god wako tayari ku, kukumbatia neno la mungu na kuifanya wewe hujaiona so mungu anamwambia jeremiah kwamba nitatoa moyo 
kwa bawe niweke moyo wa nyama. Moyo wa nyama naomba Mungu atupatie katika jina la Yesu. Praise the Lord. Na ya kuombea Mungu katika jina la Yesu before the end of this month. Mungu akutembelee na muujiza mzito sana. Sema amen. Sema Bwana atanitembelea. Sema Bwana anitembelee. Kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. Tunaona mtu wa pili anaitwa Elijah the man of God huwapo wa Mungu ulimpatia supernatural speed in the book of uh, first uh, kings chapter 17 verses 1 first kings 17 verses 1 first kings 17 verses 1 wa falme ya kwanza 17 mstari wa kwanza basi Elia mtishibi wa wageni wa jileti akamwambia Ahab kama Bwana Mungu wa Israeli aishibio ambaye nimesimama mbele zake akasema Bwana Mungu wa Israeli ambaye nasimama mbele yake ha. Unaona kidogo tu point yangu iko hapo Elijah halikuwa ni mtu ambao alitembea na uwepo wa Bwana Maana sema anasema kwamba ambaye nasimama mbele yake ni kumaanisha kwamba unajua ukiangalia kwa kizungu inakuonyesha kwamba hiyo ni present continuous tense i will stand i will continue to stand in his presence yani kumaanisha kwamba si yule mtu wa kuondoka ondoka unajua kuna watu wengine wanapatanga unapatanga katikati ya wiki ataimba nyimbo za miziki ya dunia atafanya vituko ata chat chat very you know chat zingine chafu kuna watu zile password wameweka kwa simu zao ni kwa sababu wanajua ile chat ana chat huwa si nzuri bwana asifiwe sana yani mtu anaweka anaweka yani anaweka <laughs> password hata akikufa hiyo simu ina, unatupa kabisa yani akikufa tu bila kujua hiyo hiyo bila inasongezwa inasongezwa anaweka nzeti wae <laughs> yani vitu vituko kwa sababu anajua ako kanisani but yeye ako resistant to holy living hataki kuishi maisha matakatifu bwana asipe sana bwana asipe sana kwa uko hapa na unajipata katikati ya wiki unakunywa pombe na umejificha umechanganya na soda <laughs> okay Wacha kuna wakristo za wengine unapata hata kwa kanisa unapata mtu anakuja na kakondo mwini case akijaribiwa akitoka service. <laughs> Sasa hiyo mtu atajui anafanya nini kanisani. Because in case of accident. Amembeba tu. Sa <laughs> bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Malaika wa Mungu mlio kwa service bwana asifiwe watu wametulia kwa kanisa hivi unaona watu wazuri. Ha! Ukimvua kwa kisile chochoro atapiga. Ha! Utashaka. Hata huyo mtu kusema ukweli, uwepo wa Mungu anatembea nao saa ngapi? Kwanza amekuja kanisa anafikiria ana, ana vile atajaribiwa akitoka kanisa na amenunua kondom. Anafika tu kwa kemeza na anasema anaangalia sema mm, nipatie. Angalia kama kuna mzee wa kanisa akoeri. Eh nipatie hiyo 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 nyonyo hiyo nyonyo nyonyo gani hii hii inatumiwa Kwa hiyo naona mtu huyu ni mtu ambaye ako na shida So Elijah anasema and Elijah the Tishbite who was of the inhabitants of Gilead said unto Ab Has the Lord God of Israel is living before whom I stand There shall not be dew nor rain these years but according to my word. So unaona kwamba Elia anasema kwamba mbele za Mungu nisimamae mbele yake. Lazima uwe na mazoea ya kuwapia in the presence of God. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe sana. Na mimi nakwambia ukiwa unajua unajua kawaida huwa tunajua ni rahisi kufanana na rafiki yako umpendaye. Acha nikwambie, ukitaka kujua tabia yako bila kujidanganya, angalia marafiki zako wale wanakuzunguka. 
Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Bwana asifiwe. Na ukitaka kujua mtu anakaanga na kama ni mtu wa peripiri, angalia marafiki yake wawili watatu. Utajua tu huyu ni mtu wa peripiri peripiri kwa sababu marafiki zake huyu <laughs> rafiki yake ni fulani na fulani na fulani. Ni mtu wa peripiri. Kama utaki kuambukizwa hiyo peripiri yake lazima ujitenge na hao marafiki zake. Praise the Lord. Mtu mmoja alisema kwamba utakuwa bila ulivyo miaka tano ijayo. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Kama hautambadilisha marafiki na usome vitabu ambazo zitaku zitakupatia positive attitude. You know you can't be indifferent katika maisha you cannot be the same. Was kwa the same. Katika mwaka wa kwanza, katika mwaka wa pili, yani unaangalia wewe ni mtu wa kusukuma ngo uende kanisa, wewe ni mtu wa kusukuma uingie maombi, wewe ni mtu wa kusukuma hata tusahau kusifu, inamaanisha marafiki zako wale uko na wao wanakuibo ndivyo walivyo. Maana ukiwa na marafiki wanapenda Mungu, kosa uweze kukupata wao na imba zimbo za kuku kapanda baisikeri na wewe marafiki zako ni watu wazuri marafiki zako hizo ndiyo nyimbo zile wanaimbanga so ukipata wa marafiki wazuri watakumbadilisha watakuinfluence maana kila mtu uliye naye katika maisha yako anakuinfluence in a way praise the lord praise the lord ukipata watu wamejaa dharau ya neno la Mungu marafiki zao wako na muna hiyo. Unajua kuna watu sande nilikuwa naongea na viongozi. Alikawaambia kwamba katikati ya viongozi wangu najua tu kuna, kuna viongozi hawanipendi lakini kwa sababu anajua niko na password ya mapepo ile inamsumbuanga. Ako. Lakini vitendo vyake vitasema kuna watu wanakuja kanisa si kwa sababu wanapenda mchungaji na si kwa sababu wanapenda uh, wanapenda kanisa wanakuja kwa sababu ya mashida yale anawasumbua na hata nimeangalia siku za, za lockdown walipojua atufanyi deliverance siku za lockdown kwa sababu anajua nikienda mapepo yangu aingolewi walikaa paka nyumbani tukasema bibitini bipu hata hakuwapia hata hakuonekana Wacha tutangaze service ya deliverance utaona vile watakuja tu. Tamuona tu unaweza haya uli kuna kuanga. Eh na kuanga, na kuanga, na kuanga pasta. Si serikali ilisema tuzikuje. Lakini hakusikia mahali serikali ilisema 15. Kwa sababu gani alijua hakuna sehemu ya deliverance. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So kuna watu wanakuja kwa kanisa simply kwa sababu ya matatizo yale wako nao kwa saa hiyo. Na ndio unaona matatizo yao akikaa aona yameisha madharau anaanza. Pastor akianza kuhubiri anaenda kukonjoa. Anampata na simu ya kambambe anafinya finya. Si kitu anataka, anataka tu ile saa pasta ataitisha saa ya kuombea watu atoke tena kuja ombewe wa malisani. Hataki mambo mengi. Sema shetani ashindwe. So always ukatembea na uwepo wa Bwana ukiwa mtu wa hiyo attitude. Mungu anataka mtu ambao amejipeana. Biblia imesema kuhusu mitume wa Kristo Yesu. Biblia inasema kwamba waka Biblia inasema kwamba wakamkumbalia willingly. They were willingly they they accepted him. They received him willingly. Sema amen. Wa Kristo wakongojea mtangaziwe siku ya miujiza umepita na wakati praise the lord hauwezi kama umeokoka more than 5 years down the line lakini bado unangojea tukwambie hii sandi tutakuchapa fimbo kwa service na mapepo yako itatoka <laughs> unakuja hiyo tunakuchapa fimbo ukimaliza hiyo tunakwambia hiyo ingine tutakumwangalia njagi mzima ya mafuta unakuja ile ajitojatangaza hutaonekana hiyo ni kumaanisha you have never loved god The moment you love God, unaenda kanisani not because of there is any promise of anything. Praise the Lord. Najua kuna mtu ninakera. Sema, acha nimalize hii service kutoka leo. 
hapa sikuji kama niwe sema amen si nimekuambia sana. Let me say this. Ukitaka Mungu akutembelee vizuri, we kuja ukitarajia Mungu akutembelee, lakini si kwa sababu kuna kitu umeahidiwa. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Because let me tell you, inawezekana kutembelewa kwako siku ya kutembelewa kwako si yangu. Praise the Lord. Lakini anyway, God will visit your life in the name of Jesus. Sema Bwana nitembelee. So Elijah anasema kwamba the God of Israel before whom I stand. Bwana asifiwe sana. Then tuone matokeo ya power ya Mungu ama matokeo ya the presence of God. In the book of uh, the same chapter the, the book of uh, uh, the first Kings chapter 18. First Kings chapter 18 verse 11 to 12. Hapo ndio nataka nimalizie leo. Peri nasema hivi ah uh, wafalme wa kwanza 18 11 mpaka 12. Biblia mm-hmm. nasema nawe sasa wasema enenda umwambie bwana wako tazama Elia yupo na itakuwa mara mimi nikiondoka kwako roho ya bwana itakuchukia itakuchukua uende nisikojua nami ni Nami nitakapo kwenda kumwambia Ahabu naye asipokuona ataniua lakini mimi mtumishi wako na mta Bwana tangu ujana wangu So unaona huyu jamaa Biblia inatuonyesha kwamba Elia popote pale alitaka kwenda roho wa Bwana alimbeba Sema amen Sinaomba Mungu leo hata Mungu aniinulie Elia mmoja kwa hii kanisa sema amen Siku moja usa kwenda kakamega bila gari It is possible. Let me tell you it's possible. Eh? Wana asipe sana. Hapo ndio nakuja. Nasema ya kwamba inawezekana ukasafiri kutoka hapa ukaenda ukambani m- m- bila si kutembea Mungu roa Bwana akakubeba. Sema amen. Bwana asifiwe. Unajua wachai wanafanya hiyo kazi? Auliza swali, unajua wachai wanafanya hiyo kitu? Bwana asifiwe. So, unaweza ukabeba roho wa Bwana akakubeba. Hebu tuone mtu mmoja alibebwa Filipo kwenye kitabu cha Acts of Apostles chapter 8. Filipo alibebwa, literally akabebwa. Ameumbiria the Ethiopian eunuch. Na baada ya kumuhubiria Pilato sema kwamba baada ya kumuweka kwenye maji aka akambatiza bila sema kwamba he was carried by the spirit of god na akajipata mahali pengine sema amen he just disappeared sema amen sema amen sije kama ninaelewana nasema ya kwamba inawezekana roho wa bwana akakubeba literally ukabebwa umevaa suti ukajipata moranga sema amen Uh, uh, Bwana asifiwe. Kuna mtu anasema <coughs> pasta unasema tu wewe sema tu lakini sioni kama ina. Eh eh. Angalia kwa kitabu cha Acts of Apostles chapter 8. Acts of Apostles chapter 8 verse 39 to 40. Aha. Uh-huh. Acts of Apostles chapter 8 verse 39 to 40. The Bible inasema hivi kisha walipopanda kutoka majini roho wa Bwana akamnyakua Filipo roho wa nani wa Bwana roho wa nani nataka kusikia kutoka kwako roho wa nani akamnyakua kutoka majini aha roho wa Bwana akamnyakua Filipo yule toashi asimuone tena basi alikwenda zake akifurahi lakini Filipo akaonekana katika azoto na alipokuwa akipita akahubiri injili katika miji yote hata akafika Kaisaria. So unaona roho Bwana alimumbeba. Akamtoa eneo fulani, akampeleka Azota. Praise the Lord. 
Bwana asifiwe sana. Paka ungetaka siku moja roa bwana akubebe tu, akubebe tu, jipate mahali. Ungetaka kubebwa? Eh? Bwana asifiwe sana. Sema roa bwana. Ninakuhitaji katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Hii mambo ya kukanyanga fea mwaka mzima, wachana nayo. Kama hauna fea, roa bwana. <laughs> roa bwana anafanya nini? Anakubeba tu. Watu wanaona umekanyanga nyumbani. Aza, ai umepitia wapi bwana? Au namwambia nimeshuka tu. Yaani ni umeshuka tu. Sema amen. Sema bwana Yesu. Ninahitaji msaada wako. Kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. Lakini ili ufike hiyo kiwango cha kubebwa, you must continuously stand in the presence of God. Sema amen. Sema bwana nisaidie. Kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. So the presence of God is a vehicle. It is a transportation medium for those who are connected to God. The presence of God is a vehicle. It is a transportation medium to those who are connected to God. Praise the Lord. Unaweza ukabebwa. Praise the Lord. Unaweza ukabebwa. Warogi wanafanya hiyo tu. Unaona wewe unasikia tu kwa nyumba yako mambati. Wekuja kuangalia ni pusi. Si pusi ni mtu. Bwana asifiwe. <laughs> Watu wengine usiku akiela kulala, Murogi ametoka Kakamega, ametoka Mombasa, ametoka Ukambani, Anaku, anakuja kwako, anakukanyanga shingo, anakunyonga, karibu ujiendee cho kubwa, anaachilia wewe. Na anarudi Ukambani. Sema kwa jina la Yesu. Sema fire. Yeah. Sema moto. Juu ya kila mchawi. Anaotembea juu ya nyumba yangu. Kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. Sema namupotezea network. Sema napoteza network. Ya mchawi. Kwa jina la Yesu. Watu wengine kuko njoo wanakojonga kitandani ziku penda ni kunyongwa ile wamenyongwa na kanyangwa shingwa na kanyangwa na nyongwa na nyongwa na nyongwa karibu ajibubulie na kuenda kwa <laughs> kuenda haja ndogo saile tu imeanza kutoka chiri unazituka ah! nini ni inaendelea ni kunyongwa hile walikuwa mekunyonga mungu watu saidia sema amen sema oh lord deliver my life deliver my life so what has taken you years to reach you can reach it in short time by the presence of God. Na mi naongea na watu ambao wao umetoka lockdown. Kazi imepotea. Biashara zimeharibika. Shetani na kuambia nimesha kumaliza. You cannot stand again. I want to tell you by the power of God, by the presence of God, you can stand again and recover everything that you have lost during the lockdown period in the name of Jesus. Shema I will recover. I will recover everything that I have lost during the lockdown. In the name of Jesus. Kuna watu uta recover. Kuna watu uta niambia kwa pastor. Sijui ni taanza wapi. Sijui kutaendaji. Sijui watoto na rudi shula na muna gani. But let me tell you. Our God is a provider. He knows your names even before you pray. And the same God will handle your cases in the name of Jesus. Sama buwana mungu. Nina kutengemea. Katika jina la Yesu. Nina kutengemea kwa jina la Yesu Kristo na nina kuombea jioni ya leo yeyote amefikiri umekwisha na uwezi kusimama tena Jehova akuinua katika jina la Yesu Kristo paka waone Mungu amekuweka mahali pa juu Yesu akikushika atakuweka mahali pa juu Sema nitaenda mahali pa juu Sema kwa uwepo wa Bwana nitaenda juu Nitasimama tena na sita aibika wanaengojea nipate aibu 
Nipate fedea Sita pata aibu Sita pata fedea Kwa jina la yesu Bibi nile seba Wote batakao liita jina la buwana Hawata haibika Sema iman Sema sita haibika Sema nakata aibu zao Kwa jina la yesu kristo Ewe mungu Urejeshaya maisha Ya watu wako Wanae kupenda Naomba uniregeshe Maisha yangu Kwa jina la yesu kristo Emu fungua kinyo chako na uombe tu Katika jina la yesu Na umuambie buwana Nina kuinulia sauti yangu Ninaomba unirejeshe Naomba uwepo wako utembe nami Nirejeshe maisha yangu Sijui ni wapi umekwama Sijui ni wapi wamekuibia Sijui ni nini wamekunyanganya Sijui ni nini wanakuambia ya kwamba umepoteza And it can be recovered But by the presence of God Something is going to happen In the name of the Lord The presence of God Rikata paraka pohalina kora Enta laba hazoko tutodolo Rikata taraba shadu lobobo Rika zopa lika duala Rite tete 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 Inta tataraba baba 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 katika jina la Yesu Christo Kuna mtu analipata katika mtandao Na amekalufa halua panai Amekaliwa na ngugu za mapepo Amekaliwa na ngugu za warogi Amekaliwa na magonjwa Nidaoba mongo urejeshaya apia Rejesha ape ya mtu Katika Jina la Yesu Kristo Regesha ape ya mtu Badilisha maisha ya mtu Leta uponyaji katika jina la Yesu Watu walio ngojeka magonjo makali Kulingana na wanadamu Kulingana na madektari Naomba siku ya leo Nyosha mkono wako mfaume Nyosha mkono wako buwana Na upate kuwapo msaada Katika jina la Yesu Kristo Bana wewe ni mongo mwenye ngobo Pokea sipa na utokopo Bana hakuna mongo kama wewe in the name of Jesus Christ Be glorified Father Be exalted dear Lord In the name of Jesus Christ Blessed be your name In Jesus mighty name Amen Ebu pige yeso wa kofu mazuri Shema in the name of Jesus Aliyo nishika Kule nyumbani Osimjioni ya leo Fire! Mina take a car. Bora angali yuko tomato, tomato, tomato. Na wafungulia anga. Kuda watu fungulia anga. Kuda watu ma pepe ya makusika. Ma pepe ya kulala na wewe usiku. Ma pepe ya kuku tesa na magonjwa. Na kamata kamoto. Na kamata kamoto. Na kamata kamoto. Na kamata kamoto. Aza vita. Piga na wao. Piga na wao. Nasi o mimi piga na wao. 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 Piga. Piga. Kabisa. Piga kabisa. What? Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You are totally delivered. Thank you, Jesus. Ata wewe pesa hako ikusaidie. Katika china la isu. Thank you, Jesus.